Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm telling y'all now, I don't think today's video is going to go well for a couple reasons. If you wanna know why then, let's go. So we made it to what, nine days, 10, what day is it? The ninth day, 10th day, somewhere around there. I feel like we've been doing pretty good, right? But again, you know, I was looking for foundations to include in this year's 12 Days Foundation Hunt. I was on Ulta's website. They had a new foundation for Makeup Revolution. I feel like every year around this time, I include a Makeup Revolution uh, foundation because they release a version of their Conceal and Define, Conceal and Hydrate, Conceal and Matte. So I was on Ulta's website and they had the new Conceal and Glow. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just include that, right? Make Revolution affordable, that stuff, right? I click on it, that thing said eight shades. I should have looked into that more when I saw it, but I just assumed like, nah, there's no way this thing can only have eight shades. But I'm gonna, since it's Ulta, it's gonna be easier shipping. And they're getting it from Revolution Beauty. I'm just gonna go through the eight shades, see if there's like anything there, right? So when I try Makeup Revolution foundations, I'm usually somewhere between 14 and 15. I saw the shade 14.2, 14.5, something like that. I was like, okay, we'll give that a shot. I'll order it, right? Okay, so it came in the mail. This is what it looks like. She looked real light and real yellow, like really yellow. So I mean, I already had it, so I was like, okay, well. There's that. So today, just now before I sat down, I was like, let me go to Revolution's website to make sure that there is not only eight shades in this foundation because if there were a Makeup Revolution, what were you doing? There's not. So at least I can say that. This retails for $12. It's on sale right now at Revolution Beauty for $9. Um, for, oh, come on, 0.7 fluid ounces. And there are 20 shades in this. So if, I mean, we'll see how the wear of this goes, but I'll tell you why, like I, I feel like even there we might have a problem today. But if the wear goes nice, you wanna check this out, there are 20 shades on Revolution site. It's just probably gonna take longer to ship because you know, well, unless you know, you're in the UK. So I got it in 14.2. Oh, I'm actually not that far off because there are only one, two, three, four shades after this one. So this, yeah, this has an olive undertone. Um, F15 is for dark skin tones with a red undertone. So it's, this foundation in general probably does not have a shade for me. Let me read the description of this. It says, you asked, we listened. Get ready to glow with Conceal and Glow Foundation because they came out with, you know, Conceal and Define, Conceal and Hydrate, Conceal and Matte. Um, people probably asked them for a Conceal and Glow version of this. We revolutionized the foundation game with our original Conceal and Define foundation. Now we introduce the next revolution, Conceal and Glow foundation. This buildable coverage foundation has been pumped with brightening vitamin C plus light reflecting pearl particles for the ultimate skin loving radiant finish. Simply blend over the complexion and watch your skin appear effortlessly illuminated, brightened and gorgeously glowing all day long. Uh, some tongue twisters at the end. Okay, so there are 20 shades reading the descriptions and the undertones. I, I honestly don't think that <laughs> this one has a shade for me. But um, when you like think about this, how do you have 20 shades and then your retailer only has eight shades? Who do you blame here? When you ask the brand, the brand's gonna tell you, oh, that's Alta's fault. Alta only gave us enough shelf space for eight shades, right? But then you go to Ulta and Ulta's gonna say, oh, that's Makeup Revolution's fault. Uh, we just put out the product that they sent us. And you know, the conversation depends on the brand and the retailer, but it's like, I mean, both y'all can hold this L, okay? Because I mean, had you made it easier for people to shop by giving them more options, th that might've been more money for you, but you didn't. So, you know, we're just going to, Well, yeah, I'm annoyed because I got it on the headband, but this is what it's looking like on my face. I don't want to put too much on because like, if you already know it's the wrong shade, why would you want to put a lot of it on? But you also want to get it on a good amount of your face so it can somewhat even out. Like imagine you're not seeing me from the neck down, just my face up. You want your, at least that to be somewhat even. So I'm also not going to do a lot with concealer because again, let's not draw attention to things. So, well, we're certainly going for no makeup makeup today, right? So it is 11.16, I'm gonna go check in midday and then we'll see what it's looking like when I come back tonight. 
maybe there's actually hope for the formula of this. The the shade, we're gonna keep it pushing. Yo, why did no one tell me it's already 5 p.m.? Yeah, we're late, late on the check-in, but this is my face is looking like, yes, we are looking pretty slippery right now. Also, like you see the shade in a different type of lighting. Well, I'll, I'll save that for the, uh, for the check-in later on, like the, the final wrap up. But um, for, for this check-in, I think we're gonna, we're gonna focus on how slippery my face looks right now. But you know, because we've been trying to find the bright side here, you know, it's still, she's still giving kind of glowing. Just, you know, wet glowing. Oily glowing. We're trying, okay? So I am back. It is 7.19. This is my face is looking like. Yeah, like I was saying the other day, there are just some glow products where I'm like, you know, I can make that work for my skin type. And then some where I'm like, yeah, I already know how it's about to go. But my point on this channel is trying, well, for this series, is trying out foundations for you guys, just all the foundations that exist. And because I've tried <laughs> the amount of foundation that I have tried, I was also running out of foundations to include in this 12 days. So at this point, I just try everything, but again, not really surprised at this outcome. But what they say about this description, we revolutionized the foundation game with our original Conceal and Define foundation. Now we introduce the next revolution Conceal and Glow foundation. This buildable coverage foundation has been pumped with brightening vitamin C plus light reflecting pearl particles for the ultimate skin loving radiant finish. Simply blend over the complexion and watch your skin appear effortlessly illumin illuminated, brightened and gorgeously glowing all day long. Okay. um. I would say, yeah, if you're, if you've tried the different versions of this foundation, I'm not playing when I say like, there's the original Conceal and Define, there's the Hydrate version, I think like last year is when I did the one on a matte version. So now they've, uh, the bottle's over there. Now they've got this glow version there. So they, at the, the bright side is, is they, they pretty much now made one for like every category who's looking for one. Dry skin, definitely pick up the hydrate, uh, the hydrating version. Um, if you have matte skin, there's a version that works better on your skin tone. I don't remember if it's the matte or the like conceal, like the original version, really. Um, and then if you have, uh, if you've got like more uh, natural skin, so like you, you're really just chilling as far as foundation finishes go. You're you're not so much looking for one that's gonna, you know, um, work with dryness or control oiliness, and you're just like, I just want to try it just to see what the finish is going to give me. Then you can get the glow. You can get the you can get all the ones that you want to try and you'll like all of them so if you are looking for a glow finish type of foundation this one is probably for you but i think that's cool that they have you know all of those different that they have all of those different versions depending on just what you're going for but other than that i feel being someone who has tried all of them at this point i've tried all of them um, I would say the difference is really the finishes of them. You know, if you are looking for something more mattifying, for something more illuminating, for something that's more natural finish, um, that is really the only difference between any of those. So if you already also, also, if you already have any of them and you've tried it and you're like, I liked it, but I wish I could have had more glow or I liked it and I wish I could have had more hydrating. Um, I'm telling you like the, the literally the only difference between these are the finishes of them. The coverage across all of them, like you can even go back and watch the video since I have one on all of them. The coverage is the same to me on all of them. Um, the shade ranges, I, th uh, I think they're somewhere around the same, but I don't think they have exactly, or maybe they do. Maybe they do have the same, which would make sense because it's like if you're just, uh, including a different formula type, just keep the same um, shade range that you have. I think they have the same shade ranges, so you can probably pick up your shade in all of them, which maybe they don't though, because like I said, I'm usually like 14, 15, and this this range was different with um, the shade that I got. So maybe they don't have, which would work against them, but when do brands actually like working in their own benefit? Um, so, so, um, that might be the only thing if you, if you have you know try them and you're like well maybe this one might be more for me maybe your shade won't be there but other than that i feel like that's the only difference between those this glow version look at my face <laughs> i'm glowing but like i was saying in the check-in i feel like yeah i'm glowing i mean yeah i'm oily but i feel like i'm somehow like still glowing <laughs> with this you know like the, the right 
the right angle I could kind of like play this off as you know like no no I'm not oily I'm just I'm just a little glowy right now yeah I'm, I'm blot some of this off because she is looking Ooh, she she yeah okay yeah you know she's kind of but even after blotting like I'm still not giving <laughs> I just blotted my face I'm still giving you know like I look I look oily after this foundation with a little bit of glow though some just not not a lot but some some glow from within going on there but yeah this this foundation it's not for me and being someone who's tried all the other ones like there's no there's no point even like trying to force it like maybe I could do this there really is just no at least to me to me at least there's no point for some reason if you really want to get this and really want to try it out go out I mean and that goes for like literally every foundation that's included like I'm not here to tell anyone what you can and can't buy what you should or shouldn't buy I'm just telling you my experience what I think some people might like best over the others but um for me like this it's like you know this this isn't for me I probably knew that going into this but you know it's nice to try it, see it on my face. I, like I said in the other, what was it, Ulta, the youthful glow drops. Um, I am someone who has oily skin who's managed to make some uh, glowy, luminous, radiant products work for me and others do not, and that's okay. So those are my thoughts on this foundation. This is a medium but buildable coverage foundation with a radiant finish, easy to blend, pretty much stays in put all day, probably better suited for those who don't have oily skin, but I, like you can, mm, yeah, yeah, you can pretty much make like any foundation work that you want to. But if you are not in that mood for making things work for you at this point, because there are so many options, that's probably who it's better suited for right out of the bottle um and yeah i will not talk your heads off on my uh review on this foundation especially since i have done a video on every version that they've come out with when it comes to this foundation this one and the um actually i've tried most of the foundations that they put out in general again because that is what i do here on this channel just test out foundations in general but this one and the foundation stick are the only two that were a no-go for me this one because it is the glowy version and then the foundation stick because it was one of those products that you ever feel a product just never dries down that's how i felt with the foundation stick but it's also a foundation stick which usually also doesn't like my skin type so that that doesn't surprise me so um so I won't uh, talk your, did I say talk your heads off before? Y'all know what I mean, okay. Um, so yeah, that is it. But before we go, you know what time it is? It is time for a giveaway. So today's giveaway question is, I don't know. Give me a minute. Now tell me how I got distracted. <laughs> While thinking of the question, I somehow found myself on Twitter and then I was like, oh, I am still recording because I'm still filming a video. But today's question is going to be, what is your favorite scent, your favorite fragrance out there? Like the actual brand name of it. You know, I'm saying that because I need a question for the day, but also because I've found myself buying fragrances recently. Um, so I need I need some recommendations on what to buy. Now, the last time I did talk about fragrance when I was uh, showing you the uh, Sephora haul that I did, um, someone mentioned Alien. I picked that up in the store. If that was you, I still love you. No, mm -mm, not. Um, mm. So well, let me know your recommendation down below, and then don't forget your uh, handles, emails, something like that, along with your entry. And yeah, that is it for this video. So I hope seeing me test out this foundation has helped. If any of you are thinking of checking it out for yourself, oh, also don't forget, probably better off getting this from Revolution Beauty because that's where they've got the 20 shades compared to the eight at Ulta. I will insert a flash test right here. Um, make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells, all of that down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.